Uh, the time is getting closer for the sun to come out. Yes, it's getting more beautiful. Yes, camera. We have cameras. Oleg, Sasha, are you ready? Uh, what do you think? Or should we wait a little bit? Um, it's still, uh, the anchor is uh, with the uh, dark sky in the background. Well, let's wait another minute. Alex, I won't be able to secure myself that way. Let me know when you can see it. I can't control. Right now we see it. So not quite uh, 22 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk, uh, the Peruvian Chosky-1 nanosatellite is uh, now a free flyer to uh, take uh, pictures of the Earth in both uh, the visible and infrared uh, spectra, as well as uh, to measure uh, temperature and pressure as it orbits the Earth. Get it? Hold on. With the uh, Peruvian science satellite on its way, that uh, task having been completed, uh, the next step uh, will be uh, for Artemiev and Skvortsov uh, to take uh, a uh, of, uh, exposure, uh, as the name suggests, uh, to the microgravity environment of space at an altitude of some 260 statute miles. There's a good view of Oleg Artemiev at the hatchway to the pier's docking compartment. The pier's uh, serving both uh, as a docking port and an airlock launched uh, back in September of 2001. And a good view from uh, Artemiev's helmet camera as he looks inside uh, the pier's docking compartment to uh, his crewmate, Alexander Skvortsov, who uh, shortly will be moving outside to join uh, Artemiev. Awesome. Sergey, how are we doing on the timeline? You're good. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. I think this side is uh, secured. This is Mission Control Houston, one hour into the spacewalk by Skvortsov and Artemiev, the Expose R payload, uh, the uh, package of material science samples has been installed on the Universal Work Platform on the plane of the uh, Zvezda service module, and uh, the electrical connectors have now been mated as well. As you can see in this helmet camera view from Artemiev's helmet, he is closing uh, the thermal insulation flap over the panel uh, to the uh, science package, uh, the Expose R. So the second major task is now complete in this spacewalk. The uh, crew uh, just about right on the timeline as they uh, then now will prepare to uh, move towards a translation uh, to a location on the service module where the automated phased array antenna is located. This also on the service module. Uh, this uh, automated phased array antenna to enhance uh, communications uh, from the Russian segment of the International Space Station uh, was installed by Skvortsov and Artemiev during their seven hour, 23 minute spacewalk back on June 19th.